Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Grand Final Season 43, is this? <laughs> I'm gonna say. Um, we've got Magikarp Red with Dwarves taking on Mr. Page 404 with Lizardmen. And in the booth with me is the man, the myth, the legend, Rick Reckless. Hello. Hello, Jim. Uh, yeah, great to be here. Wonderful to catch a final. They, they've so often been scheduled during my own stream that it's, uh, it's really nice to be free to watch one. Uh, I, do, I do love the chalice, and I'm a big fan of Mr. Page. Uh, fantastic to see him here in a final for the first time. Uh, was just saying before, don't, don't really know Magic Cart Red, but uh, credit to him. Not easy to get to these finals at all. Many of us have tried, and uh, most of the time we all fail. So, yeah, well done to these two, and can't wait to see how this one plays out. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? Everyone but two people fail every season to get the final answer. That's 62 failures, you know, that's, that's quite a lot. Well, I mean, <laughs> thousands of failures, right? Because people people yeah. try to qualify as well. Unbelievable. Yeah, um, yeah you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, so, yeah, Jim, what, what, what do you think of this uh, racial matchup? Who do you have down here as the favourite? I think uh, Mr. Page is a big favourite in this match, to be honest. Uh, if you look at this dwarf team, there's one, two, three, four, five, six guards. <laughs> yep. The lizards have one, two, three, four, five guards, <laughs> and all the strength. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The lizards are down and slimly. Down. They've lower TV as well. Dwarves are quite efficient, aren't they? But uh, but lower TV because they by quite a lot because they've got slimly. Yeah. So yeah, it's <laughs> it's lizards with seven sauras <laughs> and crocs. So, like they've got they've got like nine more strength. On, on the big, well, no, not really, because they've got, so got six more strength if you count the skinks being down strength. But really, the skinks are that fast that the, the, the strength doesn't matter so much on them, does it? So it's just a wall of strength and guard. This is going to be a nightmare for the dwarves, I think. I don't know how I would even try to win as the dwarves. <laughs> just, you know, it's, hope uh, you get really lucky. <laughs> oh dear, poor, poor Magic Art Red, if you're right, but uh, it's. It's an interesting one, isn't it? There's, there's not much killing power relative to what they're up against here from either team. So it, it's no, there's no claw, obviously. Both teams, majority armor nine. So it's going to be a positional match, isn't it? There's, there's no agility going on particularly. Um, it's, it's really, really going to be about placement, placement of guard, what hits you can get in, how you can block people from taking certain routes. Yeah. Ah, good, you, good blood bowl in theory, like if, uh, if the coaches do it well. Yeah. I mean, I think you have to hope for bad blood ball, right? From for Magic Out Red, he has to hope that that to get hits on the skinks, I guess, like that's what he has to hope for. He, he, like he has got these mobile runners, hasn't he? The, the, the runners have got tackles, so like maybe he can get hits with the runners on the skinks. Yep. But like all Mister Page has to do is crush him with his incredible strength advantage and just keep these three skinks safe. It's it's a tough ask, a very tough ask for Magic Out Red here. It is. It is. He's, he's got a lovely Crocs as well, hasn't he? I, I guess uh, if the Crocs boneheads a couple of times, that could be a, a little window of opportunity for the Dwarves as well. Yeah. Uh, absolutely amazing Crocs of Gore. Block guard stand firm. It's exactly what you want. Yeah, that's a good point, to be fair. When, when I'm playing Lizards, that is like one of the few... One of the few things you have, isn't it, going for you, is you can just, like, think... Wait for that Crocs bonehead and hope that when he boneheads, you get half a chance. So yeah, it, I guess. it really is transformative as to what your options tend to be once the Crocs boneheads. I mean, absolutely, ideally, as the lizard coach, you want to get it into a position you want, and then if you cannot activate it for a couple of turns, that's often the best option. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shut up, stop. <laughs> 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 it's, uh, it's Blood Bowl 2020 lizards. Uh, obviously, break tackle no longer an option for them, and uh, so Mr. Page sensibly building to, to be ready for the next iteration of Blood Bowl. Yeah. And if you're watching on Blood Bowl and, and you think that Break Tackle is good, um, <laughs> Store is trolling. Store is incredible at Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> he was just joking. <laughs> break Tackle is really not necessary for Lizards at all. They wouldn't mind one, you know, like like this guy. The mighty Once you've got Mighty Blow Tackle and Guard, like, that would be fine on this guy eventually, right? It, Taking it as yeah. your fifth skill, it's fine. So, like, they are missing it a bit, like, kind of, right? Kind of. But they would much rather just have guard on the on the Saurus, like, you know. It's just about the only interesting variant thing you can do on 
previous to Blood Bowl 2020 Lizards is, you know, you, you can play them quite effectively with a bit of break tackle here and there, or you can just do away with it entirely and play block guard, because there's absolutely no build variation, is there? Nearly every team has some build variation, but Lizards just have nothing. Yeah, pretty much. They they have to, they you know, you have to get as much block and guard as you can, basically. And then after you do that, then you can take Mighty Blow, or, you know, and you do need a Mighty Blow tackler. So, yeah, th if this guy get a fifth skill, it'd be break tackle. I, th I think it's fine fifth fifth skill. I think taking it before fifth skill is very bad. The only thing even then is is how good is stand firm on a block guard piece, on a piece with tackle if you're against agility teams. Yeah. Uh, you know, can stay and hit back if he's only get, trying to be pushed away. You know, there's still yeah. there's still a case for taking stand firm uh, oh, yeah, instead of uh, instead of break tackle. But yeah, it is Absolutely, it is also yeah. nice. It is nice to have that sweep option. But uh, you know, sometimes if things have gone that bad, just just make a five plus dodge. Yeah, yeah. Hello, poopy scoop. Thank you very much, you two. And uh, yeah, Claw was actually pretty great. Yeah, Scott says it was pretty great. Oh, there we go. Oh There's wow, it has. huge. Kind of inevitable in a way, right? He's, you know, Mr. Page is just getting these two DBs just lined up from every turn, isn't it? Like, though, there's no mobility yeah. on the, uh, on the. I was going to say volume of hits, you know, yeah. e even without Mighty Blow, and obviously he's got a ton of Mighty Blow on these Saurus. Uh, he's done well to develop them. Actually, it's not easy to get Saurus uh, this developed, but uh, and obviously he's taken some injuries as well during the run, but they're still looking pretty badass. And yeah, eventually you're even going to Kaz Dwarf. It, it just happens. This is a bit rowdy, isn't it? Yeah, and he has he has hung out a skink here. We we probably will get a skink punched by the dwarves. Yeah, this I think this is not good. On a scale of one to not good, <laughs> I would rate this not a good move. Gonna be able to get Slibly. No, he's not. One in nine from the Crocs. So at least he's got the block. And it was Stanford anyway, so he had to power him to get. Had him to free. power, yeah, yeah. And uh, big note by the way that. Uh, Magikarp Red letting that go on a very, very good Dwarf. It was MNG, so I can understand why. But he's going to have a naked Troll Slayer coming in uh, to replace uh, a Guard Mighty Blow Stand Firm Dwarf. Oh, yeah. I mean, naked Troll Slayer is not something anybody wants to see, is it? <laughs> <laughs> We've seen worse in the JFW. I can live with it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, Oh, it's a shame that he's got the tackle on the dodge, isn't it? Because I would have liked to have seen a cheeky... I mean, he still probably should make this dodge at the end of the turn anyway, but... Um, it would have been nice to have actually had dodge for it. <laughs> it would. Oh, fails to get the pow. That could have been huge. Yeah, obviously Gotta be careful not here. to leave the surf on. He's got a dodge here. No, he doesn't. Oh. Quite like the dodge there to tag. Yeah, I, li I like that dodge as well. Especially, oh no, I was going to say he has dodge, but he was up against the tackle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I yeah, still yeah. like the dodge. Yeah, yeah I think so for sure. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoa, I'm all Goliath. All the power apple comes in for that one. Full instant power apple. I, I you know what? I'm I'm sorry, Jim. I don't like Apo in the KO there. They're gonna take another Kaz at some point. They're already down to eleven. They're about to have two lots of rolls at the uh at the at the KOs. I think you've got to let that go, let him come back naturally. Uh, at some point you're gonna need that Apo for something even bigger. Yeah, I, I hated it. But I guess he thinks maybe having two players in the backfield he can threaten the stall, but he can't. So yeah, I think it was pretty terrible. Agreed. You can hit the ball here though, right? You can just you just go for the five plus or even the four plus. One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. Yeah, he has yeah if you can step. get that both down as well, the, the risk of you think oh I've got sidestep, I can stall by the sideline, but the risk is if uh, if you take the both down it can still scatter off. Yeah. Yeah, I agree, Stor. The, the turn five was weird. It was just like a panic advance. There was no need. He, he's movement eight. He just needs to get to here to be able to punch it in, doesn't he, without rolls. Here, one, two, three, four, five, here. Just needs to get here to punch it in. So that there was no need to run that far forward on turn five. He just needed to run to there on turn seven. It was really weird. And yep, he has gone round. Double GFI for the hit. Gets him. That is the both down. Does it go off? No. Oof. There's the dodge this time because he had dodge, but yeah, I think he could have done that last turn. But we might see that beard surfed. 
He's, I don't know it's hard, though, because he's got to hit this guy first, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, see, see how this goes. And he's got to cover this guy as well. It's a bit tricky. Uzi, yeah, I can't see the middle of the uh, the pitch to see what's what, but yeah, there's nobody else freeable, is there? No, they're so slow, aren't they? Even, they, even if they no. could free anybody, they're, they're just too slow. Maybe, maybe the Blitzer could come and do something, but... Yeah, you can't let that runner get to the ball, can you? Because he's got Hail Mary Pass. Yeah. So that would be an absolute disaster for the Lizards <laughs> if uh, if you if you take this surf and leave the ball unprotected. Oh, well, there you go. The one guy who could do anything has just been stunned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, free, freeze up the ski. Right choice from Mr. Page, sadly. I love, I love a surf as much as the next guy, and I'd have loved to have seen the surf there, but absolutely the right decision. He just had to score, didn't he? He, he really had to score there because he couldn't, he couldn't get anything to tag that... Uh... That runner that was down. So that actually, that power apple did has given him a two-turn chance. It has. It has. So wow, incredibly, like you wouldn't have believed it. Like I wouldn't have power <laughs> appled it. I wouldn't have believed it would have been relevant, but it was relevant, and he did get some payoff. Now, if he can get this two-turn, he's and, he's got and the it advantage. is possible to double fail the the like I'd have taken that chance, but it, he could have double failed it and been down that runner, which would have been terrible. So yeah. Yep. Dwarves have a chance. Two and grind. Although, I, Jim, I don't love the uh, the dwarf two turn. <laughs> no. No, neither do I. But Mr. Page is doing a deep defense here, giving him free advance. I don't like this defense at all. Well, it's hard for the dwarves to get into range because they're so slow. True, but he's got a he's got a he's got a strength four move seven guy. So he can, just blitz, he can just blitz the Saurus and then GFI people to tag and stuff? I don't know, it seems. I can see, like, I know people like to do this sometimes because then you've got to stand around that line, haven't you? Like, so yeah. I see the point of this defense, but I don't like it. I'd rather hold hold the line higher and then, you know, they've got to break through. But I guess, I guess yeah, they've got tackle zones where you want to be stood, but still. And I guess he can't stop him there. Just oh, that doesn't help. Saurus. Oh. Like he can't stop the skin screen, can he? Basically, so it's going to be tough. Okay. Yeah, lizards are so quick that that yeah, the dwarves are going to have to roll some miracle dice, particularly now in the rain. But anyway, they were going to have to roll some miracle dice to, to pull off this two turn. They should have, they should have a reasonable chance uh, going into second half. There's no reason to instantly rule out them uh, succeeding their drive for, for overtime, but I can't see them doing the two on grind. This this really would be miraculous if they pulled this off. Yeah, it's, it's certainly asking a lot. <laughs> Hello, Flicky. It sure looks like it. Yep. <laughs> if I was a betting man, I would absolutely bet. I would have bet on a Mr. Page win before the match started, and even more now because he has successfully scored on his drive and. There is a there is a small chance for a counter score here, but I think it is only a small, a small one. I think what we really needed here was some uh, some diving catch dwarves. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, we're just gonna see a full full screen here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So so hard for the dwarves to get through this. I, I would be slightly staggering this um, the skinks back a square because probably the best chance is for the strength dwarf to dodge into the tackle zones and then blitz the uh, the skink behind. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Or like blitz the Saurus and then be 4-4-3. Four, four, oh, well, yeah, five, I three. think I prefer 5. It's just 1-5 or 4-4-3. Four, four, so it I'm would a be 5-3, wouldn't it? It's 5-3 or 4-4-3. Four, four, uh, yeah, 5-3, yeah. sorry, yeah. 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 And he's got it's dodge. Not... Maybe, that, maybe the dodge makes the 4-4-3 four, four, better. The fact that he's got dodge might might make rolling more like you know with the dodge and the reroll might make rolling more dice better. I guess if you use the reroll and the catch, then maybe the five three is better. And, but if you haven't used the reroll yet, maybe yeah, the four, you could four, wait, three wait and see. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Oh well, he's not doing that. Going for the surf doesn't take the surf, so he's just going for the four four three. Yeah, I think I think he should have done the handoff first and then see seen which way was better. Oh, oh rain, not a factor. 
Oh, money might do it. Oh, first, first dodge. Oh! oh. He's got the reroll. He's got the team reroll. He's done it. Oh my goodness, Jim. Oh wow. Oh, oh wow. I know. <laughs> what do I know? Unbelievable. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay, maybe Mr. Page isn't the favourite anymore then. Dwarf two turns in the rain, as easy as pie. Wow. Wow. Boom, Goliath Games. <laughs> yeah, you, you, I've got to agree, Star. I've got to agree. He, he did move early on turn five. I think it was a rush move downfield on turn five, which eventually ended up with him having to score on turn seven and yet it's a two turn in the rain but the dwarves got it done unbelievable okay so so looking at this half um the dwarves apo is gone their bench is gone they do start on 11 they can try and get some los hits but that looks amazingly difficult uh, and they are going to soon be taking a lot of hits back again it still looks tough doesn't it yeah 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 to be fair mr purchase still probably looks favorite even though it's one one after his own drive <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like it's still 11 11, but wait. God damn and, it. It's... And if it does somehow go to overtime, the attrition really, really looking in the Lizard's favor. They've still got a bench, they've still got an Apo. So, yeah, um, somehow, kind of feels like the Dwarves preferably want to try and win it this half. That's so hard. Oh, yeah, they have to. They have to get a, a win this half. They have to. That's true, Bessel, that's true. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, don't don't set our expectations too high in a in a public competition like this, that's for sure. <laughs> no, try has won twice, uh, Fan Fox. <laughs> try has won twice. So he is a two trick two trick pony now, try. Yeah, but yeah, he will be the only uh, the only lizard winner, won't he? With try, they'd yeah. they're, they're, they're be the only two. Yeah. Oh well, there you go. The attrition not looking so much in Mr. Page's favour now. That that quick snap, a line to make that block, a line to get that hit on the skink, and he's hit the skink. Well, he's hit the skinks twice, and he's cast once. <laughs> so that's uh, oh, three times he's got to hit skinks, hasn't he? Three times he's got to hit squink squinks. <laughs> and he's made a cast. But there's a, this is a gaping hole in his in his protection here, isn't there? <laughs> this, this, there, could be, there is. this could be very messy indeed. Yes, yeah, st starting to get a little worried for the lizards. Ooh. And that could have been a yeah, horrific a fail pickup. <laughs> scary, scary rain pickup for sure. Camry style pickup there. But uh but yeah, dwarves have the ball now and uh amazingly against the odds have man advantage for the time being. Yeah. The it does feel thing. though like lizards don't really need all their skinks. They need one skink and and the seven saurus and crocs, right? And yes. it, it doesn't really make that much difference how many more skinks they have after that. No, yeah, as long as they've still got one. But still, they're down one, and he does have you know the the high movement, the movement runners like high movement. Do you know what I mean? Like his two mobile players both have tackle. Yeah. Which is what he, which is what you need. Like oftentimes the dwarf, dwarves are kind of a bad matchup against lizards just because. Your mobile players don't have tackle. But now his mobile players do have tackle, so it's not so bad. We might see another another skink get hit here. It depends I if he can uh, afford to spend that beard not protecting the ball, and I, I think maybe not, actually. There's not many dwarves here. Oh, he's definitely going to hit. He definitely can, because he's got these four. Can all come over here, right? So he's got four guys to protect. And he, he can run this guy up a bit. I think he has to. I think he has to take the hit on the skink. Hmm. Okay, he's not gonna. Oh, I think he. Has oh to. wow. Oh, I don't like we, that. We... I think this guy had to protect the ball a little bit. Oh dear, this this looks this looks very risky now. And what he's having to do to, to try and keep it safe is base up all the strength Mighty Blow <laughs> Lizards that are now going to get to hit a Dwarf each. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like that. Armor 8 just getting smashed by Mighty Blow casually. Right, I think we're live now. We've caught up. <laughs> hey, <Woo -hoo>. yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, it was sadly not great timing with Monday Night Claw. Uh, <laughs> the scheduling of the of the CCL finally didn't respect Monday Night Claw. That's very disappointing. <laughs> 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 but we've caught up anyway, glorious. Not predetermined, guys. This wrestle tackle is weird, isn't it? I think you've done a wrestle tackle Saurus before, haven't you? Oh yeah, I had like all my Saurus were memes that season, so it was like wrestle tackle break tackle. I had a juggernaut frenzy Saurus. Um, yeah, every Saurus was different. It was it was brilliant. <laughs> what, did you, what did you think of the wrestle tackle then? It it did surprisingly well. Like it was sacking the ball all the time. So you know, I should say, oh, it's terrible, but honestly, it, it worked pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it's still a Saurus, right? Like it's 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 still going to be pretty good. Like it's the baseline is it's a Saurus with two skills that help blocking. So yeah. <laughs> it can't not be good. It's just whether it's better than it would have been if it was block tackle, I guess, isn't it? That's it. And like. When it comes to sacking, the wrestle tackle is better, for sure. <laughs> apparently, there's a bit of a debate on ulfs. We don't really see it in Football 2, but apparently people, I don't know, in NAF or Fumble or something, have, have some, there have been some top player advocates for, for wrestle, like, break tackle ulfs or something in Norse teams because there's so much block on the Norse teams, right? The yeah. only place you can take the wrestle is the ulfs. I can see that a um, lot more in, like, NAF style. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, I would take runners in that style and would never take them in, in you know, in progression. So I think that's probably, yeah, a, a, a kind of non-progression kind of thing. I guess I would... That's what I would think. I don't know why Storr's commenting, commenting on any team that isn't halflings, but uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll pretend he knows what he's on about. Yeah. I mean, I would always go block God Mighty Blow, but again, that's progression, right? So it depends. Yeah, I, th I think, I think it would be a a, a a res format kind of thing only, to be fair. So there's going to be a Saurus on the ball here. Yeah. Magic Art Red got uh, got some stuff to work out, and even if he does get away, how does he how does he go and get this save? Yeah, I don't know. This, I mean, this it's hard, isn't it? I hated his previous turn. I genuinely hated his previous turn. Um, I th like, I didn't hate the Blitz. I didn't hate the Blitz, but I hated the, the everything tagging everyone. I think he what, had to... What he should do, Jim, is free the Blitzers, which he can actually do, run one of them onto the Wrestle Tackle Saurus, run the other one right down pitch, and then Hail Mary pass. Yes! Hail Mary could be the way. I think he should hit the Skinks, unironically. I think he should just hit the Skinks. Stop, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Base, base, base. This won't because fail. I feel like I things are going so bad, you know, burp, like burp. it's going so bad that like just go for that, go for your, go for your stupid Reddit out. <laughs> because yeah, because you can you can blitz the the runner free here, but then where does he go to get uh, get protected? It's not not easy. No, I think he just blocks himself. I think you, yeah, as you say, free free this blitzer, then that blitzer can hit a skink, right? And then yeah, and then if he if he puts him down, then you can just you can just punch that Saurus away, and then. Yeah, you're, you're not looking that bad. <laughs> it's not looking good, but it's not looking that bad. Croc's tied up. You've got to get incredible. some pals, though, is, is, the, uh, is the scary thing, right? It's, it's yeah. nice to make a plan and be like, oh, yeah, we'll hit him down and go here. But I'm looking at this like the angle to hit the block guard Saurus on the ball isn't great. You can come around the top to knock him diagonally left, but then your beard isn't in the best spot for helping out with protecting the ball. I think I think it's fine. I just think you you punch this guy on two, push him to there, put this guy in, push this guy to there, and then uh, blitz with your blitzer, cas this guy, and then uh, <laughs> and then put him somewhere afterwards. <laughs> Dodge off oh, this guy. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah it's not easy. Oh, so he's just gone for well, the blitz. Does does get the pow, which leaves the uh, the runner free, which I think is really helpful. Yeah, I mean, this is good, to be fair. This is good. Then you, could, then you can bring in them both to assist this guy, can't you? And then punch him. Yeah, I quite like that, actually. Bring the ball up to here. Hey. 
Oof. Well, yeah, do the block first. Do that block first. Yeah, that was the player. Do that block first. And then if you pow him, then you could bring the ball up and hit him as well. But now it's all gone wrong, so... <laughs> with not getting the pow. Now I guess you just chill out about... It. Yeah, maybe you still assist. Maybe you still assist. 2D him and then bring him around the top. This isn't that bad, is it, actually? I I still want to see the Hail Mary past him. <laughs> yeah, I, of course, everyone wants to see that. I think you assist. <laughs> I think you assist this this hit. To be honest, I think that's the play. This Rackle's pretty terrifying now, isn't it? Fairly terrifying Rackle. Yeah, I was just going to say the Slayer can hit uh, Slibly and free the the beard, and then the beard can go and attack the Rackle, which which helps. Yeah, which helps. Which lets him hit with a Blitzer as well, right? One, two, three, four. If you GFI, if you GFI. One, two, three, you don't even need GFI. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tag there and Mighty that gives you, the, gives you the hit as well. That's, re that's really one, nice one or two of the Saurus are niggled, Jim. I'm not sure, uh, I think. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, he's movement bust. Yep. Unless it was the movement bust I saw. Oh, there might be a niggled one. Oh, he's moved him down here to tag that one. Mm. There, that, that Saurus. Yeah, the block Mighty Blow Tackle Guard. Ah, yes. Niggled as well. It's just so hard to get the hits in. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? Hey, it's sick. Good to see you, man. <laughs> yeah, Basil. <laughs> yeah, that's a good shout as well. Yeah, is Silly Billy niggled? No, no, he's he's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks for checking. Oh, dear me. <laughs> Yeah, I think like and genuinely that's what that's how but I think it is. I think that just casing the skinks is as stupid and memey you know, as Reddit is of just kill the skinks. I think like probably if you can kill the skinks then at least you're not losing the match. Right? And it's it's not that stupid to just hit them with mighty blow every turn. He had a couple of chances to hit them with mighty blow. And I think maybe he should have just taken those chances to hit them with mighty blow. And then even if it all goes wrong for him at least he's at least he doesn't lose in normal time guaranteed the well, problem is you got to kill all the skinks right it, it, literally you leave one and and you you haven't even necessarily achieved all that much oh i know yeah but i mean he took one out on turn one didn't leave his drive that was the thing yeah so i think and it looks so hard anyway like do you know what i mean it looks so hard that i think that maybe just trying to cast the skinks out is maybe not so bad that's a nice stun, isn't it? Having that guy free. Yep. Next turn, really, really big. Yeah, I've got no idea why Super Runner isn't the carry. I mean, maybe he just wanted to punch like Saurus with him or whatever, which is kind of fair in a way, isn't it? Like, Saurus are really hard to deal with. So if you've got a guy who can then handle Saurus, but yeah, why not just have it on the ball carrier? Because then he can just blitz, blitz himself free if he gets tagged. So yeah, I'll I Hail. Super Runner. Mary, pass. <laughs> You're in a pinch. That ball could just go. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have taken Hail Mary pass in the first place, right? <laughs> so it's it's not, not the first time we've seen it in the final gym on a dwarf runner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It should have been never, but yes, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. If, if this, you're right, Matthew. If the skinks are anywhere near where you want to put it, it's not great. But there was a moment when all the skinks had gone into the uh, into the other half. I mean, you could say that just Hail Mary Pass is rubbish, and that would be enough. <laughs> that doesn't need to, You don't need to. You don't need to quantify it by saying skinks or anything else. You can just say it's trash. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jim, then why did they nerf it for Blood Bowl 2020? It was because... clearly one of the strongest skills in the game, along with shadowing and accurate. You know, <laughs> it needed a nerf. Yeah, it didn't. <laughs> Passing didn't need a nerf. And, and leap. You know, all all these skills. The first, all these first skills you pick on your players, you spam them out. <laughs> it was just dominating the game too much. I mean, Kislev's had to be removed. Full stop. You can't have that much leap. It's too overpowered. It is. It is. I like how he doesn't I, he doesn't follow up because he might not get retagged. <laughs> <laughs> a pickle, exactly. Store, yeah, yeah. Super runner just blitzes and, and he's away. Uh, the problem we're not following there is that uh, you could see the GFI to tag the, the block mighty blow tackle guard Saurus, which is not what you want. Yeah, true, 
True, because he's more in position, ready to to go and do the business. But pressure again. This is awful again for the dwarves, isn't it? Every every turn is uh, really tricky on on how they get out of this. Yep. Yeah, I don't even know how they... Maybe he dodges with a super runner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. And then he's got the super runner tagging the Saurus and he's down the skink. And then he can uh, then he can dodge with the crap runner as well. So yeah, he probably, he probably does rely on the super runner doing things to cover for him. And then... It's so horrible without agile up, isn't it? And it, Like, just taking one in nine risks that if you lose, you've lost the game is so horrible. But yeah, yeah what, what are you going to do? Yeah, I, I don't see any alternative. Tragically. And it's really good as well, actually, because if he does that, he can 2D this skink to tag him as well. So, like, not that tagging him will be that good if he gets away, but... Yeah. I think you have to just take this dodge. And blitz the skink. Yeah, true, true, Matthew. Yes, yeah, separating out the guard is, is exactly what you want. I, mean, I forget that you're pretty good at Blood Bowl, Matthew. <laughs> like, cause we, we talk about everything else so much, we barely talk Blood Bowl. I mean, it helps starting only one guard down. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's, as, the, as... that's the best way. This was a terrible doing this hit first, because he could have sidestepped to here. This was, <laughs> that was a horrific move. <laughs> In my opinion, it was horrific. If he pushes, he's there. I guess you can commit to the to the reroll. Is there only one skink left? So if he blitzes yeah. the skink out now, Jim, is that all the skinks gone? Yeah, exactly. This is my exactly my point. I would have made that hit like three turns ago. <laughs> wow. Well, two turns ago. No, three turns. Re yeah. Reddit, Reddit were right. Yeah, I think that I think that's his main main route to victory because it's so bad. I mean, look how bad it is. <laughs> you can see how bad it is. The thing so, is, though, like. like Mr. Page doesn't need to score this drive. He can take it to overtime and get those two skinks back that are there if the other one gets taken out. Maybe that one comes back as well if it was a KO. He can, uh, Or if he can force the dwarves in early and then he gets them back and then he scores back for overtime as well. So it's not absolutely GG just putting them in the oh, reserve. Oh, no, absolutely right not. But, I mean, I just think it's kind of better than... It helps, yeah. It does, does mm. help a bit, yeah. I just think, it's, I think it was his best path to victory. As, as stupidly low odds as it was. <laughs> okay. Well, this could be it. Go. All the skinks out the drive. Yeah, it could be. It's uh, it is a really handy pow. Wow, well, not sticking because of the diving the tackle. Oh no! Doesn't get the armor break. He has to dodge. Just has to. Just wasting seconds of all our lives. <laughs> yep, there you go. He makes the dodge. <laughs> makes the dodge. So the Slayer can try and hit Slibly again, and then there's a one dice to free up the Blitzer. I think you're right. I think he makes this GFA. Yeah, he does. Nice. I like yeah, that. I really do. Uh, yeah, I really don't like uh, the Crocs not following for this reason. The Crocs is so much more out position and prone to bonehead and everything else. That yeah. that Saurus running back would have been really handy for Mr. Page next time. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Should have followed. This is horrible, isn't it? Because it is a frenzy trap. But yeah, if he powers him, then then he's timed gonna, out. Uh, oh, why he's timed out? Oh, that's awful. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's that bad, honestly, because you don't really want to hit silly Billy here. It doesn't even do you that much good if you power him. Because like he can't free up the other Saurus, can he? You can't do a lot with Silly Billy, and you could. It was more. It was more getting the Blitzer as a as a backup. If I guess we are just yeah. Like you'd have to one D, you... and then if you skull, then then you've then you've you know exposed yourself a bit. So I think it's not so bad. Like yes, powering Silly Billy and powering this guy, and then having a free guy is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you're probably going to have to dodge off a Saurus again next turn. He could put the skink in on the, the strength up runner and then blitz and, and get the uh, the Saurus down on the on the runner again. Yeah, yeah, that seems the best move, doesn't it? Because the Rackle's struggling because of the stand firm. I mean, it's fine to try and take that hit, but you've got to you got to find the power if, if it's the blitz, which is a bit nasty. No, yeah, for sure, for sure, you're right. You you, you stick the dirt, you stick the diamond tackle on the strength dude, and then blitz him and, and tag. Yeah, it's right now he needs something else. Maybe we're going to see the Saurus dodge, because you just can't leave it like this. You can't just take your Saurus hits now. It's it's not nice. 
not enough. It, it's not good that the skink's just going to get blitzed off from the runner. You can't put... There's no reason to move the skink in there. Unless you're looking for quad skulls. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah I think that wasn't great. That's um, why, why I like sidestep first on the skink. Di diving tackle really isn't all that till sidestep. And then, and then it's pretty nice. Yeah. Um, well, that's the thing, Satterfield. It's not as if it's a bad move. It's just, it was just like... I think the, the risk was there and the payoff wasn't that great. Um, with hitting the, Well, the payoff w was potentially great, but it was unlikely to have the payoff. So I guess that's where Rick and I diverge on, on risk-reward kind of thing. <laughs> we, we, we do diverge quite a bit at Blood Bowl Gym, but that's, yeah. that's all good. <laughs> but I, I, like, that's what it is, isn't it? It is, it is the risk-reward aspect of it, I think. Yeah, definitely, diverge, definitely yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And we could probably both play the other way. I could just imagine turnovers didn't exist. I do occasionally play a conservative game and it nearly kills me, but, but just sometimes it's literally the only option. I'm like, oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take less reward for less risk, whereas Rick will take more reward for more risk, won't he? Basically, that's... That, that is that is effectively it, yeah. Yeah, that is I basically prefer it. different styles, what it all comes down to. Yeah. And, uh, they, they both garner similar results on many occasions. Yeah. I, I don't know what this is, though. <laughs> are you, are, is he going to just go for a dodge? A I don't hate dodge? it. Like, mm, three rerolls, there is overtime to consider, but you, you could afford to put one in here. Again, though, it's such a shame to have already moved the skink if you're gonna if you're gonna dodge blitz. I think you've just got to try and blitz back the rackle now, probably. Mm. And yep. he gets the power. Look at, I mean, that was that was greasy. This was wasn't the problem it? with this, the stand firm, wasn't it? It was yeah. it was a horrible blitz to make if you don't get the power because yeah. of the stand firm. Because both down doesn't do power. it for you because of your own wrestle. <laughs> Pushes doesn't do it for you because <laughs> of stand firm. You just had to get powers. Why have we gone around the back of the runner? Oof, I don't know. I guess, I guess it was GFIs to get around the front, and he wanted to be in contact with the skink, so you couldn't blitz off the. He skink. could have been level. He could have like, look. He could. Have, he was here. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's, he could have at least been level. I guess he was worried about the one dice power on the skink, or the blitzer GFIing to tag, and then the two dice power off the skink for the runner to be free again. I think that's why we've seen that there. But yeah, I don't like it. Well. He is forcing some one in nines again. That we're almost yeah. definitely seeing at least one one in nine off the dwarves this turn. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, with having, with having him there, it means that he's at least got a dodge. Yeah, but it does mean he gets to smash a skink and dodge, and then have that guy tagged again. So, yeah, exactly. Still, yeah, yeah. If, if you really like the tag that much, I think I like the double GFI round the front because then this blitzer can't tag your rackle and you're just absolutely forcing the score plus a GFI to score. Yeah. But I mean, I, I vastly prefer the blitzing this guy and then tagging with... Oh yeah, going right back to the start. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah vastly prefer that. But I mean, here you could get a skink killed. Um, you could. I mean, you're definitely getting hits the skink hit because he can't knock because he can't dodge away from diving tackle so you've you've completely you know you've completely eliminated the, the choice of him dodging away <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely hitting this skink 100% but does he just score this turn well there's, he, uh... there's there's still there's still Hail Mary pass Jim there is still Hail Mary pass yeah super runner dives off to the top left and uh, whoop <laughs> Uh, the, the, pro the problem, all, all memes aside, the problem with Hail Mary passing here at all is that you're putting the ball down in the round again, aren't you? Which is uh, not, not good. No. Yeah. You... Is, he, is he trying to see if there's any sort of stall on? I, I think it's just the blitz score. I mean, because the, th the problem is, if, if you blitz him and stall up here, he can pow this guy again and then run down, and now you just can't do anything, can't you? Oh, wow. What are we doing here that isn't just risking two one in nines now? Well, he's going to punch the yeah, he's going to punch the wrestler. Isn't punch he? the Saurus instead, but he's just freed up a block Saurus. Yeah, 
You can just one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI, yeah. So doing that without a way to deal with this guy is terrible. I guess the problem, I guess, so I guess you've got the failure state of failing this dodge wasn't as bad as failing this dodge first. So now failing this dodge isn't as bad because you've got another guy down. Do you know what I mean? So you, you've doubled your failure state, but you've mitigated mm. them. You did a similar thing one time. Okay. And you were like, oh, I completely like, agree no, with all, all decisions they made here. <laughs> yeah, you were like, vehemently like, like, this failure state is better though, Jimmy. Him. And I'm like, but you've got yeah. two chances. I, know, I remember, but the math. The math we were talking Happy about was New Year, much fellas. less than adding an entire one in nine, I think. But anyway, I, I can't, I can't. I remember. I, I can't remember, remember, but it was a similar now, kind of idea, wasn't it? You know, it was a similar yeah, it is, kind it of idea. it is a idea. similar That's idea. <laughs> thank you very much, Is Flamingo. Staying fantastic for 17 glorious months. And thank you very much. Happy New Year to you too. Glorious. All right, so can Mr. Page... Or turn. He's got a full 11, but the Apo's gone now, I, I believe is the situation. Exactly the same as the Dwarves. Both the benches have now gone, both the Apo's have now gone, and uh, the Lizards obviously need to need to four turn. Yeah, yeah. to be fair, their best situation is, is overtime now, isn't it? Like, so it's, Oh, yeah, for sure. It, it's, yeah, it's interesting. Like, Obviously, you'd back still... the Lizards to score, but who knows? That's it. I still don't have the Lizards as that much underdog like it's so fractional if they are because they're favorites to make the four turn and then they're favorites in overtime but you combine both of those things together and and maybe yeah they they probably are the underdogs now but it isn't by a lot it, this is still completely in the balance yeah their team is so much better like it's it's brutal isn't it yeah on, on either drive you'd want to be the lizards but you <laughs> yeah. combine the fact that the lizards have to win both drives and actually probably the dwarves are slightly favorite but yeah really close yeah. And of course, the coin flip does have a, an awful lot to do with it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I would I would choose to be the lizards at probably every point in this game. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. I mean, they've got so much more strength, haven't they? It's like that was grim. I mean, I think he did a good job scoring at all there. To be fair, Magic Out Red. We may have not have agreed with having the. You know, not holding on the super runner, but then he, he he was able to tie up Soros with the super runner. So you know, it kind of like it had a use having having that strength, like using that strength for. Um, yeah, that, there's there's position. been loads of times where I've not carried on my best carrier because I needed him for something else in the field. I, I yeah, that's that's fine. Yeah, he, he has done well there. That was a really tough drive from the start from the dwarves. Yeah. Why don't you kick long there? Does he have kick? Yeah, he's got kick. And he kicked short against in the rain. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? I'd have definitely kicked in like a corner. <laughs> he's only yeah, got four skinks turns. Are fast. Although the thing is though that yeah, the skinks then have to put in the rerolls on the pickups that if they get unlucky two turns in a row, it's almost game. So yeah, yeah long does seem nice. I guess he's thinking that if he fails the pickup once, he might be able to swarm in and put a load of pressure on with the dwarves, but it is, it, it, there's already Saurus double layering now. It's not looking likely. Oh yeah, I think I think definitely kick DPA for the reroll. Four plus to pick it up, no sure hands. Like that's one of the ways Lizards can lose pre-1300 TV, isn't it? Is by failing pickups. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. And he doesn't have his sure hands now, Mr. Page, so he's still in that zone where he can just lose by failing pickups. Um, so yeah, yeah and in fact, if we want to talk about something that is in the Dwarves' favour here, seriously, uh, no no kick equity memes coming in, but the, the Dwarves have four re-rolls, and the Lizards have three and have to pick up the ball in the rain and have to pick up the ball. So, uh, you, you know, they're going to have... We really could see some re-rolls going in here from the Lizards. The Dwarves not under half as much pressure to put the re-rolls in, so we yeah. might see a significant re-roll advantage for the Dwarves going into overtime, if that's where we end up. Yep. Hello, Skuro. Lovely to see you. I think he doesn't have to re-roll the pickup now, though, right? Because it was a short kick. If it's a deep kick, he probably has to re-roll it. But yeah, he's probably kick, got one turn where he can to. eat it. Yeah. 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 Maybe he should do it, though, because if he doesn't get to overtime, he's just lost. So he probably has to re-roll this pickup, to be fair. Yeah, he probably has to re-roll Yeah, it. something, a mistake I used to make was I'd think, oh, if I put in the re-roll next turn, I'll definitely get it. And that isn't true. Sometimes you need <laughs> that extra dice roll. Yeah. It's, I don't hate this decision either way. He can, yeah... He, he can choose to do either. Yeah, that's that's pretty sensible, and it pays off. Fair play, Mr. Page. Well played. Yeah, I think I think that was right. In fairness, 
My reaction Who's got the would fame, be. Jim? Sorry. Oh, that's a good, good question. No idea. Um, it is magic out red. One fame. Mm. It was sensible because it worked. No, I think, I think even though it was short, he had to do it. Yeah, I think he had to. I mean, it would have screw roll, but imagine if he didn't re-roll it and then failed next turn with a re-roll. Then you're like, what an idiot, why didn't he re-roll the first time? Giving yourself four chances to pick up instead of only three chances, I think it's worth it because he has to pick it up. But he, he absolutely had to kick it deep. Like, I think that's a mistake from Magic Out Red. Like, it, it could, the ball could have been eight squares further back. And I just think there was no need. <laughs> All right, fair enough, Skrull. Because there was a time when I wouldn't have re-rolled that, to be fair. Yes, yeah, same here. Yeah, yeah, it's li literally something I've had to learn. Yeah. Hello, Hancock. Great to see you, man. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> the champ is here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a four plus surely you roll. Yeah, yeah, Stor, but it's it's something, as, as Rick said, it's something I think you have to learn, right? Because you think, well, I don't re roll it, but. You know, because I've got the reroll next turn. I'll reroll it next turn, and yeah, maybe it's too late by then. So I think you have to, you have to reroll it. There. <laughs> Shithead chips. <laughs> Hit that guy. <laughs> not, not predetermined, Skiro. Not predetermined. <laughs> yeah, yeah, unbelievably. Um, oh, there's a removal. Wow. And both I mean, we've got gone, so little, we? so little time left now. That might not be the critical thing this drive. So it's it kind of feels like it might be a massive, massive coin flip for overtime. So so there's now if if Mr. Page still succeeds this drive, which I suspect he will, then it's uh, it's two huge coin flips. It's does that Saurus come back, and <laughs> does he win the uh, the actual toss for for receiving? Yeah. <laughs> yes, <Guru. laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think it looks so easy. I think that I think that removal is pretty key on the stopping the score. You know, that's a that's a big Saurus removal. Like, yeah, you know. I, I'm, I'm not at all saying that it's like an easy score or anything. Um, I, I just uh, yeah, if if I if I had to guess, I'd say I, I think the lizards still get it. But yeah, for sure, it's it's not in the bag, nowhere near. Mm -hmm. I, I think they've got to come back into the middle here now. Yes. Could glorious. this be the Crocsborn head no, turn? I won't but, give uh, oh, wouldn't that be something? Until I'm victorious. Could still use the Blitz. I, I think the I only thing defend. that's absolutely disastrous is the Double Skulls. Defend. I think you've got a few nice hits. If I the Crocs does burn out, you can just Blitz. I steal, including yeah. this Amazon Prime password. To, to cage up right in the middle. <laughs> glorious. You can always put it in uh, turn 15 as well, if, if needs be, because you can cage on rank uh, 9 here Yeah. Um, with the ball. And so you could even threaten to go in the, the turn afterwards. Yep. Um, glorious. Thank you very much, Hancock, for staying fantastic for five glorious months. <laughs> I actually had steel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. What a baby. Yeah, that was the thing. He put, he put this guy back, didn't he, to kind of sweep. But in doing so, he did give up the middle here. And yeah, even if the even if the Crocs bone heads, he can still just blitz this guy with a Saurus. But still, he, he will lose a bit of presence in the middle if the Saurus bone if the Crocs bone heads. So it's it would still be a, a it would still be a, a an annoying bone head if he bone heads. It's probably like the most important turn for his Crocs to do something thus far. Um, yeah, I would say. And like, yeah, there hasn't been a turn where in thirteen turns there hasn't been a turn where you really thought, well, a, a bone head here would matter at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Flipping next, Jim. We're here watching the Chalice final, and the last five minutes of chat in the channel have been about the flipping JFW. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's big. Oh, that's not good. Oof. Now we now you see now the bonehead would be really bad. Now the bonehead would be bad. Yes. <laughs> now I completely agree. <laughs> or a one in nine. Either one. The Skuro effect. 
yeah, it was incredible, the, uh, the effort the Skrull put in, for sure. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He, he is a legend. Oh, man, is he going to run out of time here? No, he's, he's, a, he's, he's, he's a bit known for this, is our Mr. Page. He's a, he's a master of the last minute actions. He'd probably be good in Blitzbit. <laughs> Wolf Bark 2.0, is he? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Is he going to 3D this guy with the Crocs? I mean, yeah, he doesn't have to cage high this turn, does he? He's still got two turns after this, so he, he could hold back nearer the LOS and, uh, and three dice to make sure. It is just nice to switch on the Dwarves. If Slibly gets a good hit in at the end, might, and, it, he, and uh, Magikarp Red doesn't get lucky on the Pals, Slibly might hold up quite a few Dwarves over there. And look how bad this bonehead is now if it happens because you can just hit him and hit the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just don't even activate the crocs now. I think we did talk about that earlier. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah. Just yeah, he's not making it three it. dice. Yep, 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 yep. No, no activation. Yep, that's yeah. it. You've called it. And, and, and well played, Mr. Page, for making that decision. Yeah. Come on, Slibly. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? If, if he doesn't block, I think it was the right decision because it is the only turn where it would have been impactful to, to Bonehead, yeah. basically. Ooh, yeah, this could he, this could be... Oh, he didn't fall. I was going to say this could be a great turn oh, from no. Silly Billy here. Just, oh, okay, it wasn't oh a great goodness. decision. It wasn't a great decision to not activate. <laughs> 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 oh, man, Bonehead there just basically loses in the game, doesn't it? Bonehead there just means he gets to hit this guy and gets an instant 2D on the ball. I mean, this is the problem with... Uh, this is the problem with leaving it last minute, right? Like, we're all susceptible if we realise the seconds are running down to, to panic in and, and just taking some decisions, snap. And, yeah, I think we've, we've seen two little mistakes there at the same time. This, I love following in with Slibly in these situations because yeah. sometimes your opponent just doesn't find a pow and he holds up half the team. Yeah. Uh, and that's exactly what you need right I now. I mean, on turn 15, yeah. Like, you know, if this had been turn 9 or whatever, right... <laughs> Oh, yeah, you don't want him getting Mighty Blow hit on turn 9. No, yeah. exactly. But, yeah, turn 15, this is prime time. Stand firm, Slibly. Hold up those dwarves. Get over to the other side of the pitch. Yeah. Yeah, that was. I think that was a missed opportunity. And, and this was this was a very risky hit if, he, if he'd boneheaded. I... I guess he has to put the reroll in as well. And he's a little unlucky if he boneheads and Lona fails. But, yeah, um, yeah I, I'd rather he didn't take that hit. But yeah. uh, it has put him in a stronger situation. Now he's got the power. So a little bit swings and roundabouts. Yes. Yes, he's 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 veered even higher on the risk reward ratio than Rick Dares yep. Venture. <laughs> it's it's what I love about Mr. Page. He does he does do that and uh, and it really, really pays off quite often uh, against uh, against good coaches in, in Chalice. Yeah, like he's only punished 1 in 6 or 1 in 12 times. Yeah, the failure state is that you lose the game. But it only happens 1 in 6 or 1 in 12-ish times, right? <laughs> so it's not, it's not that bad. You only lose on a 1. <laughs> yeah, and the payoff is so low. But it is, it's there, though, isn't it? So, yeah, I mean... If it works, it was, it was the right thing to do. <laughs> But yeah, I, yeah, I think it was a bit too risky, especially given that both down earlier, wasn't it? That was the thing, and stuff and the push and what have you. It was just like the the board state. I think was would have been a great non-activation. I think it would have been a genuinely great non-activation. But um... tricky for the dwarves here. If they're not careful, then the lizards can pull left again, and yeah, they've got to fill that gap on the right, or they're just going to go and cage there. Yeah, I was going to say they need to come forwards because they made. I think they made a mistake the turn before on being too deep and leaving that space to go cage in. Yeah, um, which didn't get punished in the end because uh, Mr. Page rolled pretty bad block dice. Oh, uh, is he going to push the guy on? Oh no! Why? Why not push your 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 blocker onto the ball? I think he's misread the stand firm there. Yeah, I don't think you willingly push into a stand firm Crocs. Yeah. Yeah, at least at least push your guy out. At least push your own guy out. But um you could have pushed like even if you even if you think he hasn't got stand firm, isn't it just better to push your guy on onto the skink? 
because he's got tackle, and now he's got to activate his Crocs to punch him, hasn't he? I, I guess if I was trying to play devil's advocate, the Crocs, yes, he has to activate, but he only needs a push to, to push him off to the, to the right as we're looking at it. Whereas here, if he gets pushes, that dwarf's going to remain in the way. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I would have really liked that. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would have liked that. <laughs> Nobody expects the stand firm inquisition. Yeah. I mean, if he's happy to do two GFIs, he doesn't have to get too far this turn. He could just go a little bit to the right and, uh, and up a little. Yeah. Um, he could go in with the Rackle on the stand firm and probably get him down. Might have to take the wrestle, even that's not a disaster. Um, or if he can get the uh, the Blitzer down, and he can uh, he can go down the left. Okay, so I think we're seeing the side cage before he gets the Blitzer. Down. <laughs> I mean, he did the sideline cage earlier, didn't he? For no apparent reason on turn five. So <laughs> now he's doing it on turn fifteen. It makes sense that that's what he'd go to. Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm always a fan of the side cage, but slight problem when you have to score the turn afterwards is you can't threaten to go either way, right? So they, there is a risk that the runners come in and, uh, and, and block this in a bit, and you end up having to make two or three three-plus dodges, which is pretty nasty. Yeah. Yeah, this could be, this could be bad, because you can't, you can't stop this strength four tackler coming in, or the other tackler okay. coming in, to be fair. And he I could be wrong. He could have just moved that skink up as a, as a scoring threat. Like, if Slibly double skulls... But then it's so easy to just uh, yeah. to kill that skink. Anyway, massive failure to, to power there, sadly, from Slibley, from Mr. Page. Yep. So the Crocs might have to free the Saurus, and then the Saurus tries to get the, the power. I guess the Saurus could just run. Yes, yeah, so he's going to No, he can't run around, because the Blitz is still going to be tagging him. Going to 3D with the Crocs this time, yep. So yeah, he'll try again. He might put the reroll in now on this. Yeah, four dice for a pow. Probably feels better than uh, than having a base sideline cage. Yeah. Yeah, gets, gets it. it. Huge that he gets to save the reroll. Really, really big because he might well need one next turn, and you don't want to be going into overtime with no rerolls. Yeah, absolutely not. Ooh, loose sideline cage is uh, is interesting. Yeah, but he can he can move him in later, can he? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like double GFI. One GFI, yeah, yeah, not too bad, yeah. Oh, one GFI, yeah. Might even like double him to here or something. Yeah. I wouldn't hate that. I don't know what it would achieve, but he could he could potentially like double GFI to there or there. Maybe. Yeah. The the failure's so bad. I, I think I'd rather he just be back to the square. Yeah, I mean me too, but <laughs> like you might work it out that it is better to be there or there. You know, maybe like I think that's one of the things where the uh the Blood Bowl supercomputer, right, would just know where the best square for this skink is, wouldn't it? And if it needs two GFIs, it needs two GFIs. But I think most of us would make one and then pussy out. Or maybe make none, maybe just stand there. Um, I definitely don't hate it on the five plus. Yeah, I'm exactly the same as Store. If if it stays as a five plus, I'm I'm cage diving this. Yeah. And if he does, I hope he remembers to go in past the source. Yes. Yeah. That's what I was just what I was thinking. Yeah. He can he can do it. Yeah. Because because in in all seriousness, like it's easy to be like your brain's a bit knackered and you could just make a really stupid little mistake like that can't you and forget the diving tackle for a second yeah for sure this is this is prime for getting diving tackle time uh, but yeah five plus in yeah maybe yep, this is the five i hope he i hope he goes for it this is pretty exciting if he does i mean also though you don't need to right you can free these two guys up with a hit here yeah um probably and then you can you can just squash him in with loads of tackle so it's you don't have to hit the ball but the store says yes. Interesting. Uh, the problem is that if you've recently watched Andy going out of Chalice this season, uh, did you see that, Jim? I didn't know. It, the, so basically a re-roller skink made about 12. It looked like about 12 stunty dodges to go and <laughs> score against him in overtime when it was about two lizard men against an entire team of Andy's players at Chort. <laughs> and uh, so... So if you've recently watched that, you might not be fancying just trying to keep a skink tied down. 
Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Oh, he's gone in. Oh, no, burp, burp. no, he's not. He's not. Base, base, base. Yeah. No, you, know, you, you are right. This is, this is fine. Burp, burp, like, burp. you've given yourself a, you are giving yourself quite a nice chance of, uh, of winning here if, uh, if Mr. Page rolls badly next turn. There is a nice amount of dwarves you can get in to make this awkward. Yeah, I think this is the conservative play, isn't it? And when I, I'm not saying it's right <laughs> or wrong, but I think this is what most people's instinct would be in this situation is like you know you just first and foremost you don't want to lose it and it's not really the right decision is it you know there was a thing about saying in the nfl like people should just always go for two points or something and should always should always go for it on fourth down and stuff like that but people you know just fear failure a bit don't they so naturally so tend to not go yep. for those things so the five yep. plus it's, it's not but it wouldn't have been bad obviously you've got dodge so you've got a pretty good chance of getting in there and you could still like tag that guy. You could tag the other skink and stuff maybe first and you know make these hits and get people back around first before you do it. But um Yeah, it's it's great when you see like the advancing stats changing sports. I think NBA is a really good example. Like for decades it was like take the safe two points, take the safe two points, and all of a sudden everybody's uh, three pointing. Yeah, see, this is the thing. I like getting this guy in, right? Getting this guy in the ball is sick, isn't it? Stand for him. That's tackle. really nice, yeah. And he's got the strength ball behind as well. Like, this makes it very tricky. Like, these two together make this hard, I think. And I did like that, that that was pretty easily freeable. And he can also free another guy, can't he? Um, is, it, is it rock hard, Jim? Yeah, it's rock hard. <laughs> Yeah, he can. Oh God! Well, he's got to. He's got to reroll this. Like he just has to, doesn't he? He's got so many rerolls. He might as well. Yeah. If nothing else, you don't even want to armor roll that runner. Yeah. So you can bring in these two assists here, block him, and then he's got another. He's got another uh, guy free as well. But they were absolutely rock hard today. Rock hard. I think he so might be too far. I might not have bothered with that. So it's four stunty dodges because, unfortunately for Mr. Page, he's got to clear his uh, his down skink as well yeah one two three three what three dodges isn't it one oh, two, three. three. sorry yeah coming backwards yeah yeah so he he could have moved this guy to here right that, yeah i was kind I'm of moving. expecting that gap to get filled but it isn't is it so yeah, yeah. so three one two. yeah i think he had to do that i think you don't tag this wrestler you, you put an assist in there you punch him and with two dice and then you bring this guy to here so yeah this is three dodges maybe not even that no, there's going to be three. Yeah, you can't. You probably can't make it easier than that. Yeah, three, three, two. All with tackle, though. Like all of all three with tackle. Mm, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know if you can make it easier, but I'd, I'd probably not. Like maybe I you don't can think blitz. So. No, I've been looking at this and not, I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, so he did. Maybe tagging this guy was good actually, because yeah, if he if he powed and powed, then he could have one, two, three, four, five, six GFI, and then if he powered him there, then it gets. Well, it's still only two dodges, right? It'd still be two dodges away from tackle. So even if he powered him, so red um, dice odds. Red dice with reroll is seventy percent, and then it would be one dodge from tackle. Oh yeah, maybe so, that's better. Um, oh god. Oh wow. Yeah, that was a nice move, wasn't it? That was a nice hit to make. <laughs> well, if if he makes these dodges, that that is going to pay. I may just one D's him here then. Nah, that seems terrible though, doesn't it? So you'd have to uphill for a push. And then three plus without tackle. Yeah, that's gotta be the best play, hasn't it? Well the, the the uphill by itself is about forty-five percent and the double dodge is about forty-four percent because it's two thirds of two thirds. So it's really similar to be honest, like it's if, if I'm right, it's crazy similar. Yeah, pretty close, but it is better. The uphill's better. 55.9 versus 53.49. So, yeah, 53.5 versus 56, essentially. So, yeah, very close. But it did feel like the uphill had to be better. 
Oh, not like this, though. <laughs> not like this. Well... That was a two dice to power to take out one of the... Yeah. The, the, the dodges, right? Like, that, yeah. that actually is an interesting third alternate. Yeah, yeah, and you can't work it out on some easily, sadly. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no. He's failed. Oh, no. we're done. Oh, man. Yeah, turn 16. Holy moly. Congratulations, Magikarp Red, the new Chalice champion. Wow. Heartbreak. Heartbreak for Mr. Page. I'm I'm a bit gutted. I did I did want to see Mr. Page as the new Charles champion. I'm a big fan, but uh, it wasn't to be today. No, that was wow. The 87 blocks to 24. <laughs> I mean, he absolutely strength bullied the hell out of those ch those chops dwarves, didn't he? Unbelievable. Yeah, just that um, amazing two turn from the uh, the dwarves. Yeah. Yeah. Two I mean, dodges. Magic card red play great to give himself like a, a chance there, right? Because he's, it, it, it looks so hard for the dwarves on paper and, and sort of played out that way from like you said about the blocks. But at the end of the day, he got luckier on his short drive than Mr. Page did on his short drive. Oh, yeah. He, he, I mean, he had to get luckier, didn't he? Like, look at this 12 out of 13 GFIs, 10 out of 12 dodges. <laughs> like, yeah. he had to get luckier. And then Mr. Page only made the one dodge in the entire game and then one in nine did. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, did pat every bonehead, which was nice. But um, yeah, well there you go. It was something, wasn't it? it was, there was, I think, it was a really good game. Yeah, I, I really exciting. enjoyed watching it. I, I'm, I'm a little sad we haven't got overtime. To be honest, that was the yeah. That was uh, I would have very happily carried on watching that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, well done to them both. And yeah, Magic Card Red. I, I need to find out who the heck that guy is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. And it burst onto the scene. And congratulations to him. Commiserations, Mr. Page. Thanks for every watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.